howdy, howdy everyone. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day today, so far anyway. Uh, I'm back on the motorcycle. Back on the good old green KLR 680. 680. And uh, I'm on my way to meet up with some other dual sport riders from that forum I was talking about earlier, the Alberta Dual Sports. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Sounds like we're just going to kind of go ripping down some gravel roads, probably. Just kind of head west and see what the roads and weather and stuff's like a little bit further out west. Um, this is my first time riding with them. Uh, first time really meeting up with any of them since the motorcycle show back in January. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, see what it's all about. I'll try to record a bit of it anyway. Yeah, I'll try to record a bit of it anyway. I don't know uh, how much like talking or anything I'll be doing or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting because on the forums, uh, going by the pictures I saw or kind of what I gathered, it looks like two of the guys have a lot more dirt or like off-road oriented bikes in this uh, big heavy KLR that I'm on but uh, as I said I'm fairly new to off-road riding so I told them on the forum I just wanted to make sure and they said it should be an easy ride that anyone was welcome to join so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad hope I won't make too big of my <laughs> words are hard man Hopefully, I won't make too big of a fool of myself, is what I'm trying to say. I'm on my way to the little town we're going to meet up to for this uh, ride. But first, got to stop in another small town uh, and top up with fuel. I should be good. Like, I only have 67 kilometers on this tank. But I really don't know how far we're going to be riding, so I'd rather top up with fuel and come at show up there with the fullest amount of fuel that I can and uh, that way there's less chance of me having to stop because like if those other guys are on those smaller bikes uh, they won't have nearly the range or distance capacity that I do on this thing so I think I should be all right whatever we'll figure it out see how it goes Yeah, just heading to the little town of Batril. And I guess that's where we're going to meet up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be early. We're meeting up at... Oh, well, I don't know. It won't be too, too early. I don't know. I'm one of those people that are, like, really anal about being, like, on time. And, like, early. Like, for me, if I'm not 15 minutes early, then I'm late. That just... I don't know. I've always been like that. That's just like one of my biggest pet peeves is people running late and you're trying to like make plans and involves time if people are late or whatever. I just, I don't know, it just irks me for some reason. And I don't know, I'd rather be 15 minutes early and stand around and twiddle my thumbs knowing I got there versus having to rush and, you know, panic and be stressed of getting there by a certain time. So I just leave a lot earlier than most people probably would to get to places early enough. Because, like, I don't know, the way I see, especially if you're driving, you never know what kind of issues you can run into. There could be a wide load moving down the road. There could be construction. You're, uh, you could have a flat tire when you go to get on your vehicle or whatever. You don't know what could happen.
Well, I guess I'm out with the dual sport, dudes. I got the biggest bike. I think. There's two Huskies. Uh, guy in front of me is on like, he said it's like a brand new one. Like he's only got like 30 kilometers on it. And then there's a DRZ in the lead. And then we got another Husky behind us. I don't know where the dude behind me went. These dudes are a lot more uh, experienced than I am, obviously. Oh, the other dude's there. All right, we're good. Guess that could be a problem. <laughs> Already falling apart. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I guess I lost my license plate already. So that's cool. It's always a good ride when you break your license plate off. My rear tire really isn't that aggressive for this riding, to be honest. Well, like for the pavement, it's just fine. Yeah, these dudes definitely have more uh, riding time than I do. Or they just have a lot more trust in their tires than I do. And on a side note, uh, this is the same road I'll be going down to get to the rodeo grounds for my first camping trip.
That right there is the rodeo grounds where I'll be doing the first camping trip. See, I don't mind going down on the straight, just the corners I'm a little iffy on. That's all. A little iffy on the corners. <laughs> Man, this road really is what? Oh, oh God, that was a little spicy. <laughs> little spicy there. <laughs> Fucking ruts, man. This can be the end of me. There are some rough spots in this road, dude. I don't trust my tires enough for this either, dude. I hit the two bumps that are right there. I'm good. Am I still out of this fucking mess that I'm fucking in right here? Boy, nice bike. Gravel roads are so bad out here. And I'm so bad at riding a dual sport. It's a great combination. Yeah, I'm definitely a lot slower than they are, but honestly, I'd rather take my time and do it in a way that I feel relatively safe. Keyword there is relatively. This doesn't look like fun at all. <laughs> that was sketchy. What? What's that? Yeah, I think so. I gotta take my time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting. Were you waving at me earlier? Oh, I thought I saw you waving, that's why I stopped here. Okay. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> oh, 
work. <laughs> Fucking soft spots in this road, man. This doesn't look very promising for me here. I really don't trust my tires in this shit. <laughs> shit is awful, man. No, I really don't want to fucking go down on this shit. <laughs> I love how this is the fucking road. Oh, fuck off. Nah, dude, I don't trust myself in this shit. Oh, fuck off. You're good, bud. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go a whole lot further. I'm fairly new to all this and I don't really have much of a grippy tire back here, so. Alright, yeah, they're a little grip down. <laughs> no, they're pretty shitty on this. That's why I was hoping it was just gonna be gravel, so I didn't think it'd get this bad up here. It might uh, I'm gonna scoot ahead, see if I can catch up to the guys and let them know the way's up, so we'll head back and we can have a little chat. This is me recording after editing the video you guys are watching now. And I just wanted to add that where the clip stopped right there um, was while I was waiting for the other guys to come back and we were going to discuss what we were going to do after I was like not sure if I was going to be able to keep going. And basically what happened is that the cold pro battery died because I forgot it was on. It was just sitting there recording while I was waiting for it and it died. And I didn't bother changing it. But uh, once those guys came back, uh, I talked to them, they said that the part that we were in where I turned around was the worst spot for like, you know, for the rest of the ways. And then, so I decided, well, I'll just keep going. I'll just fight through this last little bit. And I made it through and then we kept riding for probably another hour, hour and a half after that. So I just thought I'd mention that, like I didn't record anything else because the battery died, but I did keep riding. This shit's rough, man. <laughs> it's like Slip Slide Town, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a fun time. Just, uh, well, I'll show some of the footage I got, probably. You probably just saw some uh, clips, or footage, or whatever, from the ride I went on with the Dual Sport Dudes. There was four of us that came out, and uh, they're all on like 450s, 
so you know they're on basically dirt bikes that had signal lights so a lot more dirt blah, 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 a lot more dirt than my bike my bike's a lot more my bike's like 50 50 street and dirt it's kind of how i have it set up well actually it's more set up for street right now because uh, i don't have really aggressive knobby tires on the back but the guys i was riding with they had knobby you know legal knobbies kind of thing and their bikes are a lot smaller a lot lighter than this one and they all had a lot more riding experience than i have off-road because uh we got talking uh because it sounds like they're all going to the rendezvous too this year and all three of them are going for the advanced or expert riding course whereas i'm going to be in like the beginner course so other than they had to wait around for me a lot because you know i was still getting the feel of the bike and I haven't done a lot of off-road stuff other than them having to wait i had a blast like the, when i went out there i was getting a little worried that i wouldn't be able to you know make it through some of that stuff with this bike and my skill and the tire but after we got down and when he eventually turned around i felt way more confident i felt way more confident coming back because we uh basically went down we went out west down the gravel roads or gravel roads you got far enough out west there and they hardly became roads they're more a lot of them i would even be iffy on taking my truck through in two-wheel drive but we were going through them in the bikes and those guys are just like gone. I have to go past my comfort level a little bit to build up my skills, which is what I was trying to do today. And like I said, on my way back, I felt way better than I did going out there. Unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot of footage. Like we were probably all riding out west there for probably two hours down those gravel roads. But I recorded for the first part that we went out there and uh, then the battery died on the GoPro and I was, you know, too busy trying not to hold them up. I was gonna be like, oh wait, hold up guys, just let me uh, change my GoPro battery real quick. But uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna bother them because they were already way ahead of me, the three of them. They'd go ahead and then when they got to like an intersection or something, they'd stop and wait for me to catch up. And I didn't want to be like, oh, you guys are just waiting for like five minutes for me. Oh, I'll wait a little bit longer while I just switch these GoPro batteries, which wasn't something I needed to do. It would have been nice to do, so I would have had a little bit more, uh, footage of me slipping and sliding around on those so-called gravel roads but oh well I had a great time I was a little iffy at first but as I kind of got the feel of the KLR and how it rides and handles the gravel and stuff it wasn't too bad uh, to be honest I'm actually pretty impressed with how this tire performed especially on the gravel because like a lot of those gravel roads out there uh like they're ripping down at 80 90 100 kilometers an hour and uh even on some of the looser gravel i was surprised of just how like solid this thing felt in the corners on that gravel you know i wasn't like dragging knee around the corners by any means like i was trying to stay fairly upright but i could hit those corners at 90 80 and feel fairly comfortable about it but it's when the roads were dry gravel, it wasn't bad. The biggest part is, uh, since it's starting to warm up here a little bit, all this snow is melting. And especially out west there where it's all shady, like this, you know, in around trees and stuff, it doesn't get a lot of sun. And now that it's warmed up, all the snow that has accumulated has started to melt. And it makes the road just absolutely soft. Like it makes the road soft to ride on. So it's not hard pack, you drive into it and you sink into it. And then when it's wet, it's slippery and it makes the back end always woo -woo -woo, go all over the place. And that was my biggest issue was with the wet spots or the soft spots of the ground or the muddy spots where it just gravel. I felt pretty comfortable, uh, you know, in just the gravel spots. Like it was just a bare open gravel spot with a few corners I could keep up with those other guys fairly well. But whenever it came to like the corners and the soft stuff, I had to slow down because I just wasn't comfortable hitting it at the at the speeds those guys were on their 450s and their knobbies. I just I'm not experienced enough and have the right bike or tire for that right now. But all in all, I had an awesome time. I'm really looking forward to doing more uh, off-road riding with these guys, or even just by myself. I feel a lot more confident after today. Uh, I feel a lot more confident in my bike and in my ability to control the bike when it starts slipping and sliding. So I think it was a good day. 
uh, progressive day. But uh, anyway, I'll let you uh, leave the video here. But uh, I'll probably leave this video here. And uh, I guess we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.